Thanks for joining the Focus Hunting Podcast for us. Hunting in the outdoors isn't just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. Join us as we cover all things hunting, fishing, and the outdoors in Western Canada. Acting on the strength that you've lost over the course of the hunting season. And maybe we, we all went through the holidays, we packed on a little bit of that hibernation weight, so we needed to get rid of some of the fat too. But building muscle is the best way to do that as well. So, so those are the blocks that we're going to ultimately probably get you into. Um, we still have options for people that are just like the busy business professional that just needs a burner workout. We have minimal gear dailies. They're called MGDs. They're right at the top in the app and they are the best workout that you can get. Um, and we'll go through blocks. We do month blocks in those where there's a specific focus because even being where we're at in Montana, uh, we're in the winter, we're not outside, you know, on the trails, maybe we're skiing, but, but we, we know that as we transition into the spring, we want to get out we want to start trail running. So those MGDs are always in specific blocks to those month long blocks. So uh, just the offerings for a lot of different people, um, because not everybody is the same, but we're trying to appeal to like what your preferences are. So, yeah. And, and that is huge, man. Like one thing I tell people, you know, for guys like myself and, you know, guys that are a little younger than me, you know, you don't have a lot of time. You find like you have three kids at home or you have two kids, even one kid's a lot of work. And then you have work and then you have like extracurricular activities and soccer and blah, 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 and all this stuff. You're very limited on time. Now, uh, I always tell people you have to find something you love to do. Not everybody loves running. Not everybody mm -hmm. loves lifting weights. You know, find what you love to do because for you to go for a run, if you actually hate running, it's not going to do you any good. If you don't like lifting traditional weights, it's not going to do you any good to do them. So you need to find something you love to do. And then that way, you're going to be more likely to stay with it. And that's what it's all about is building a, a program that you can stay consistent at. Yeah. Because without consistency, you got nothing. You have to make, and you know, you don't have to do these big, massive feats all at once. You mm -hmm. slowly chip away at these things. And then over time, one month, two months, six months, a year, you're going to start to see real results and you're going to build a habit. And once you build a habit, it becomes part of your life. Yeah. So I really like, that's what I really like about this program is it's got something for everyone. Um, one other thing you said, which is really cool that a lot of people don't know and which, you know, for a long part of my life, I was really bad with was asking for help because a lot yeah. of these exercises that we do, like we spend so much time training. I spend probably... Oh man, 20 hours a week training. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm spending 20 hours a week training and I'm doing it wrong, I'm talking wrong form, wrong, you know, wrong, anything, anything that's wrong, I'm not going to get the most out of my time. And like we said before, time is money, right? Time is spent not doing something else, not spending with your family, making money, stuff like that. And also it's good to switch it up because muscle has memory. Now, if you're just doing the same thing, if we're, you find something you love to do it and you're doing it the same throughout the year, it's great, mm -hmm. but you have to shock your muscles. You have to shock the body. You have to constantly switch it up, constantly try new things. Number one, because that's where you build growth. And number two, your muscle has memory. So it's just going to plateau. You need to shock it. So it peaks. So that's what I really love about this app. Now let's dive into, um, let's dive into the, let's do a, a quick, like 10, 15 minute talk about where the guys should go that have never, they love to hunt. They love yep. to hunt. Uh, as we all know, it's getting harder to find those elk. It's getting harder to find those big mule deer, right? You're going to have to get out of your truck. You're going to have to put boots on the ground. You're going to have to probably spend a few nights in the back country. If you want to be successful, I'm talking build a, you know, come up with a hunt strategy that's going to make you successful year after year after year. So, and fitness is huge aspect of that. Um, mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about where guys who've never, they've never come, had any training. They've never had any help. They just love to hunt and they want to get in the back country. Where can they go in the app? And let's, let, let's just kind of walk them through where they can get started. Yeah. Yeah. So with this mountain tough as a whole, like at our core, we just know that the most successful backcountry hunters that we know in our realm, um, that we've been around 
grown up around, they're the most mentally tough individuals out there. And we're trying to give people a big dose of mental toughness. Now we do that through our workouts. Uh, we're going to, we're going to, cue you in, we're going to tell you you're doing this so that you're strong on the hunt so that you can, but for somebody who's starting out, my recommendation in the app is to do one of our mindset courses. Now, this is just, this isn't physical at all. So we have two mindset courses. Um, we have a version 1.0 and a version 2.0. They're done by Phil Kornachuk, who his like military accolades actually like you can't even list him off. He's an incredible human being, but he goes through this mindset course to give you that resiliency or to just help you draw out those characteristics that you know you have. Because as a hunter, you have those. Like, And we know that everyone has those characteristics. It's just that they get suppressed and we get a bit defeated. And our fitness sometimes is the reason that we're defeated. We're like, we used to be able to do it, but we can't anymore kind of bummed about that or maybe a little hard on ourselves about that too. So I I say to people, I'm like, start with one of the mindset courses. You're not going to sweat unless one of the topics makes you uncomfortable. Maybe you might sweat a little bit, but it's going to talk about your, your mission and your values. And it's not preachy or anything like that. It's just like really going to make you take a look at yourself and say, why am I doing this? Why am I passionate about hunting and how can I fuel that passion and how can it pay off in other areas of my life? So I'll, I'll, that's a, that's a big piece for the mental toughness side. Like that's an easy thing for anyone to do. You can go through those courses. You can go through both of them if you want. Um, it'll give you a good look at yourself. And then for someone who hasn't like been in a fitness routine, go and do our on-ramp. It is the best place to start for you. You know, three days a week. Uh, it's, it's simple movements, um, but they aren't easy but you will just gain that confidence and you'll start that habit forming that you need, you need to start that habit forming. Like that's the most crucial piece for you to continue on this path. So from on ramp, I kind of talked about it earlier as well in the first section, but go from on ramp then to foundation. And at that point, you're going to be able to pick a bigger program or get into one of those training blocks that you're prepared for now. So we just want to, we just want to take you on that path. We don't want you to jump in because too, with the mental toughness side, sometimes some of us who are willing to be so devastated uh, <laughs> physically like that, we'll go and do it, but your time, your time is fleeting. So if you do it right and you lay that foundation, then you're going to have the most success because you're less likely to get an injury. Uh, you're less likely to be so sore that you're, you're like, I'm never going to do that again because I was so sore. How can it be of benefit to me? So uh, ultimately in the end, you'll embrace being sore because you know that being sore is the growth. You're looking for that growth. And so you'll look for it. You'll source it out. You're like, I want to challenge myself so that I am. And then ultimately the end result is being able to perform well on a hunt or on an adventure that you might go on. Heck, maybe you want to run your first 5k or 10k and you just want to feel good doing that and like you will once you're on that plan so yeah for sure that is a huge aspect is your mental toughness and we talk about that lots on this show mm -hmm. i mean big goals come with big mountains you know that's just the reality is and yeah. i'm and i don't care what your goals are not just outside of hunting in life big goals come with big mountains and if you want to set big goals and i mean everybody sets big goals for themselves you know what mm -hmm. i mean everybody wants to have these amazing accomplishments, but a lot of people aren't willing to do the work required to achieve them. Um, so, and that's what, you know, going through this app again, I really like, and like the entry level pro programs are great, but like, we're talking like, you know, these aren't just, we're talking like three week programs, four week programs, nine week programs. So already, right. If we're, you know, we're, what is that? 15 weeks in 16 weeks in, Mm -hmm. You know, that's four months, right? That's four months of training yeah. that you're going to consistent, that you're going to do consistently. And I guarantee you, if you start on these now, you know, come February, March, April, May into June, the summer months, you're mm -hmm. going to start feeling a whole lot better instantly. And now you've built up that foundation. 
Now yep. you can start ramping it up. And and along the way too, what you're going to find is you're going to find stuff that you like to do. Now, everything in that those programs you might, might not particularly enjoy, but you're going to find things that you really love to do and you really enjoy it. And like people are surprised. Like I have this one guy, he's worked with me for a long time. And as he's gotten older, he's, he's you know, every year he's buying a little bit bigger pants. Yes. So he comes to me and he's like, hey, I need to... uh I need to start doing something because this is ridiculous. You know, he's I'm uh, this my pants. If I was an inch shorter, I'd probably be perfect circle. So he says, I gotta I gotta start changing my lifestyle here. And I so we start working on, you know, just the basics, right? And then he he started doing it for a year and then he started to see the results. And then from that, he now he's off on his own and he built a program that he can do himself with the mm -hmm. time that he has. Uh, and, and it works for him. So that's what I really like about this is like you get into these programs. And like I said, we're 16 weeks in we're or 16 weeks. Now we're four, four months into it, you know, hunting season, three months, three months away. And now we got a good foundation. We got something to build on. We can work yeah. from here. So now you go through and then a lot of people say, you know, I don't have, I don't have a fancy gym at home. I don't have the room. I don't have the money to afford all that stuff. I don't have, to, I don't have a gym, you know, in Canada, we're a lot more spread out and not all yep. these, not all these smaller cities have gyms. And a lot of the, you know, a lot of the outdoorsmen, they live in very, you know, remote places, but mm -hmm. with the app, you don't need that. That's what's beautiful. You can get into these body, body weight programs. And I did one of these, man, and these are freaking awesome. Right. Again, you know, we got, you know, you could start out small. You got six weeks, 12 weeks, six weeks again. So right there, now we're into hunting season. Just by doing these two simple things, we're into hunting season and we're ready to go. There's not, you know, our confidence is more, you know, that you're going to be able to get into places that you last year, you wouldn't have been able to get into, you know, you're going to be able to carry that elk or that moose or whatever caribou, whatever you're hunting up here in British Columbia or Canada, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to get it out. So let's talk a little bit about the body weight programs, kind of what guys can expect to get into there. Cause I, I feel like these yeah. are great. These are really good for, you know, the working class man who's gone to work from, you know, he works eight hours a day. He brings his kid home from soccer or yep. comes home, has to take his kid to soccer. He's got dinner, reading story, bedtime, but he still has like an hour to crunch out a workout and still find a little bit of time for himself yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. A half an hour. I'm like, just, yeah. just a half an hour. I, I was like, that's a, I mean, we live in the social media world, so it's, it's like, that's a big part of my work actually. I'm like, my limit on Instagram is 30 minutes and I blow through that in like no time. And granted that's work, but too, but I'm like still addicted to it, you know, as much as anybody. So that 30 minutes of scrolling can be like a very, very amazing body weight workout. And it doesn't come down to space. Space is an excuse. So if you have an eight by eight space, like if you have just room, a hallway, right? You can do a body weight workout. And a while ago, one of our podcast guests, a local Bozeman guy, he he had he had said in one of the podcasts, he's like, you are your best investment. And he made his reasoning for that. And that's so true for us, especially as hunters, because We'll, we'll save and we'll buy the stuff we want. We'll buy the gear we want, uh, but we'll overlook our fitness along the way. We'll overlook our nutrition. We'll overlook our mindset because we're not willing to make that investment on ourselves. And so that's just a shift. Like we're, we're willing to buy the gear, but are we willing to make an investment in ourselves? Cause we are truly our best investment. So when it comes to a body weight workout, we've got so many great programs that that's at our core too, is like, like, how do we get these in people's hands? Cause we've heard, we heard, no, no, I don't have a gym. We heard the excuses for long enough. We're like, let's come out with just body weight. And so that's really big. We have body weight on ramp. We have, we have 30, 30 program, 30, 30, 2.0 programs. Those are 30. It's a, it's a month long, um, body weight workouts and you can scale them to, you know, depending on where you're at fitness wise, uh, but just putting that work in, in that 30 minute session. Um, and then adding a little bit to it, we have heavy pack programs. So even if you don't have gear, maybe you've done the body weight programs, uh, and you, you have a backpack. Like if you're a hunter, you have a backpack, whether it's a frame pack, old something or another that you've called out a bunch of animals you can utilize that pack to train as well. And so that's where we'll offer that to you. And it's just a shift in thinking because you did body weight, 
We've gained some confidence there. You never thought about your hunting backpack as an actual piece of gym equipment, but you can. And so that's where we'll give you the, the those instructions in the heavy pack program, uh, 4570 to just go and like, just go through it. Um, and you'll, and you'll love it. And you get to use that equipment, which is really good too, because that backpacks on your back more times than just when you're hunting. Um, and you'll look forward to going out and maybe scouting, you know, those sort of things that maybe you put off because your fitness isn't right, quite right, right where you want it at the time.